Hi, Hello. Dejanae. How are you doing today? Hello, Miss Shepard. I see that you're reading Only the Good Spy Young. Can you tell me a little bit about your book? My book is about this girl named Cammy, and she's a spy. Yes, and there are these people searching after her because they want her. And she has an old teacher named Joe Solomon. He has a double life, which he's a good spy, and also he's a bad spy. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to help Cammy. Not get caught with, um, not get caught trying to escape from the circle. And she has three best friends one named Rebecca, one named Courtney, one named Morgan, and they're all trying to help her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my question is because it seems like you really enjoy this book. Like when you told me that you were finished with the book, you were like, I really like this book, I really enjoy it. Um, so my question for you is, what about this book does the author do that helps you? To like it so much well I got one paragraph I mean one chapter it's chapter 29 mm -hmm. and they were trying to get to sub level 2 which is a, another level that helps chem where you get chemistry at so Joe Solomon had bombed the elevators like if somebody walk in the elevators or try to use the elevators right. to get to sub level 2 it will blow up so she had to get through by a, by a very smart way and she decided to get through by the Silla. Mm -hmm. And it was saying that she like the alarm went off as her friend dropped her book on accident so water stopped filling up in the level and they almost got stuck until they had to solve a puzzle of Cammy, her mom, and her father. Okay. Wow. It sounds to me like, so there are a lot of things that are happening that I'm, I'm hearing you say uh, from this book. Um, but one of the things that I'm getting that you're reading here, um, and you're also re um, that you also could possibly apply in your writing, though, um, is the author's craft move of um, suspense. Now, before I get started just explaining um, how I think you can implement suspense in your writing, do you remember what author's craft is? And can you tell me real quick? Okay, so that's cool. I just want to remind you, so an author's craft is what the author does in the story that helps them to tell the story better. There are different techniques that an author might implement um, that are their skills that they can showcase or they use to be able to tell a story really well. Um, so it seems like this author, um, Ali Carter, is able to do like employ the use of suspense really, really well. Um, and what I think you can do is, is kind of take that craft move and apply it here to your writing. Having said that, can you tell me what your writing is about? I know, but I just want you to tell me what you've got so far. At this moment, well, in this story, my writing's about this... Well, it was about me when I was down in North Carolina visiting my family. And we went go-car racing, and I didn't know how to drive. Mm -hmm. So I had tried it out around the first lap, and I had succeeded. So I thought, oh, I was going to continue on going so right. I can continue on time. Then I did it again, and I crashed into the wall. And then oh next, I crashed into my cousin. Then I injured my cousin leg that was in the car with me. Mm -hmm. And then I, we was trying to go back around to get like to the exit, but instead we kept on. I accidentally kept my foot on a green pedal and we landed into a lake. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> I didn't realize that. But in this particular story, that's not what you do. Am I correct? You don't. You don't quite go through all of that, mm -mm. right? Here, it's just something happens you can't operate the vehicle properly the go-kart and then all of a sudden like you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh what's gonna happen okay so what i want us to do though is kind of explode a very specific part of the story using the author's craft of suspense um and so i think that it would be best if you found the most important moment of the story and you implemented the same type of suspense that you see in this text here in your actual writing so what I'd like for us to do real quick is let's go through the story and let's find the place where you think that the most important moment is happening in your story. And I just want you to tell me what that important moment is. And then we can talk about maybe how we want to go about implementing suspense there. What's the time in the story where people are going to be like, oh, my goodness, like that's the part where like everybody's intention is going to be drawn to it. Okay. Right here, 
Okay. What does it say? Can you read them to me real quick? I run around two laps without question. As we turn the corner, my cousin says, we not going to crash. I say, you jinx, you jinx it now, we are going to crash. Then as soon as I said that, boom, we crashed. As soon as I was about to finish racing, pow, my cousin, my big cousin crashed into it. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. So I think that's a perfect place to be, to be able to implement some suspense right here. So what I'd like for us to do like the next time we meet is look at this same paragraph. And by the time that we go back over this same like bit of the story, um, we should have seen this completely explode. Because what you're going to do is you're going to find a way to drag this moment out so that the reader is on the edge of their seat. Like the first point where you're riding, you know, riding along, like I want you to really walk the reader through the process of what it felt like to be nervous, take care, what it felt like to be nervous, and then um, like the disappointment after that when you started to feel like you were, or the, I'm sorry, the pride after that when you felt like you were being successful, and then the disappointment when you felt like you were maybe not being successful as a driver. So um, an example of that would be, I went around, so the, when you, you say initially here, I went around two laps without crashing. As we turn the corner of my cousin, as we turn the corner, my cousin says, we're not going to crash. This would be a perfect moment right here to say something like, boy, was she wrong. Just to kind of give the reader like a warning as to what was gonna happen, but not tell them exactly. Does that make sense? Um, another spot. It says, um, you jinxed me, now we're going to crash. And then as, I, as soon as I said that, boom, we crashed. Like, this is a moment where you could kind of, like, drag it out. Like, if it was that you were going around the corner and all of a sudden you got distracted and you felt yourself losing control. Like, these are all ways that you're able to kind of explode that it's moment. Like yeah, and, like, to build the suspense there. So um, as you're looking at just this paragraph, the next time that we speak, I want to see how you've developed this paragraph into something more suspenseful and more detailed. Okay? All right. Thanks so much for your time. Welcome. Okay.